There's only one step to this. One step, one thing you need to do in order to keep your dog from jumping up on you. <laughs> hey guys, hey, welcome to another dog vlog. Yeah. <laughs> in today's video, I'm like I said, I'm going to tell you guys how to stop your dog from jumping up. And this is such a re highly requested video. But here's here's the thing. I, I would be lying to you if I told you it was a difficult thing because there's only one step to this. One step, one thing you need to do in order to keep your dog from jumping up on you. If you are new here, click that subscribe button down below to help me save all the damn rescue dogs. I'm going to jump in right meow on the super, super secret, very, very easy, one step way that you can keep your dog from jumping up on you. I'm actually, I'm just gonna show you. You guys are gonna laugh at how easy this is. And I'm surprised that there's so many videos out there on YouTube because there really is only one thing you need to know and that is, I'll show you. Come here, ready? Ready, fit? Yes, good job! And you guys see how simple that was. You have to pre deal, oh, oh. <laughs> hello. Sorry, we were just listening to Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So with him, Hey, baby. You sit. Sit, good boy. So before he has the opportunity to jump up, you put it in. You sit. Get him to sit. Right. And so I've over rewarded the sit behavior. Hi. Okay. Hi. Can you sit? 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 Good. Yes, sit. good job. And then we reward. What a good boy. Yeah. Thank you so much for working with him on oh, that. That's great. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah, we have two little Havanese and they. They're dancers anyway, and they're, uh -huh. it's just hard with them because that's their nature. The big thing too is just to start with teaching sit and make it overly, overly exciting. So use yeah. like treats, treats or toys yeah. and just get them to be super excited about being in the sit, sit position so yeah. that when they, what they'll eventually do is they'll learn that when they want something, they'll sit for it. Yeah, that's good. I, we should emphasize it more. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh, great. Really cool. It's really good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank Have you so a good much. day. You Bye, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, that was perfect timing. <laughs> good job, Finn, good job. All right, guys, so that that right there, I promise that wasn't planned, but that is when you're out in public and somebody wants to greet your dog, you saw how Finn jumped up like that and how I told her, like, hey, he needs to be told to sit. And it took a couple times, it wasn't perfect, but, but that's real life. And then he sat, did you see that? Like, that was incredible, good job, Finn. All I was saying to get your dog to stop from jumping up is to, before you even get to the position or the timing of your dog jumping up, is to teach them to sit. And not just teach them to sit, but to love to be in the sit positions. To the point where they offer sit anytime they want anything from you. When I'm at home, I encourage him and ask him for SITs and over reward with toys, treats, and praise. Or places like this. Come here, Finn. Can you sit? Yes, good job. There's a lot going on over here, so it's a great distraction. Okay, sit. Yes, good boy. <gasps> sit. Yes, good boy. You sit. Yes, good boy. Good job, Finn. And you can see how busy it is over here. I didn't even use a treat then. If you can get your dog to sit for you in a high distracted environment like this, that'll help extremely well, but here's my simple advice, and I, I'm not trying to overly simplify an issue that a lot of you have, but if you overtrain, come here, again. If you overtrain the SIT command and make them love being in it, and the way that you do that is you just work with them every single day, and you use, this is tripe right here. Google what tripe is, and you'll see why he loves it. But what I do, and what I did when I first got Finn, and I still do today, is I'm always asking for a sit. And he's learned that when he wants something, he offers me a sit versus jumping up. We're not perfect, we're still working on it, but the best way to train a dog to not do something that you don't want them to do is to train them what you 
want them to do. You know, a lot of people we use the technique of yelling no or spraying squirt bottles at them or just turning their back. But what happens in those situations is the dog will continue jumping on you when you turn your back or they hear you yelling no, but all they're getting from you is attention. So if they're jumping on you to get attention because that's why they do it and then you yell at them, then they're actually getting rewarded from that. So instead of telling them no, show them what you want them to do instead. So then once you over teach the sit command and make them fall in love with it and become very excited to be in that position, then as you see them wanting to jump up, Finnegan, up, up, come here. As you see them before they're gonna jump up, then you ask for an SIT and you just get them super, super excited about it. That way you do not give them the opportunity to practice that poor behavior. It's important to also understand why the dog jumps up. They're jumping up because they want attention. It's not in most situations because they wanna dominate over you or be aggressive or, or try to take control of the situation. It's because they want your attention. So again, yelling at them or screaming at them or yanking on their leash, that's just giving them another form of attention because to a dog, to most of them, even if you're yelling at them, that's attention. They don't necessarily look at good attention and bad attention. They're getting attention. Guys, those are gonna be my tips for how to help your dog stop jumping up on you. If you are new here, like I said before, click that subscribe button. Help me save all the damn rescue dogs. And I hope that you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.